Hey everyone, Nate with Grower's House here and we got some new technology in that I really want to show you. So if you see this, this is the Grow Flux LED and you probably haven't heard of this company before because they are super new. That said, they've been working on some technology behind the scenes with a big team of engineers to design this light that they sent to us and we've been playing around with it, actually growing with it and now that we've been messing around with it for about two months, I really want to show it off to you because I really think it's worth your time to hear it out. So this Growflux LED is basically now probably the most sophisticated in terms of technology and the most tunable light on the market. So one of the things that you're going to see about this light is it actually you can buy this little unit which you actually need to run the lights because it's really designed for the more sophisticated grower, the commercial grower, the scientific grower and this is called the Growflux access point. You can see this is just power and this is ethernet because this light is ran wirelessly. Not only that, per access point, you can actually run up to a thousand of these units. And that's more than any other fixture and controller combination that I've heard of. And not only that, Growflux, if you want, can actually remotely monitor and control your lights. Um, and really they won't be controlling them, but they'd be monitoring them and they let you know if like, let's say um, an LED went out or um, there's something wrong with one of your growing environments. And they can also push software updates to all of your LEDs to make sure that you have the most updated software. And you can even have um, a library of lighting schedules set up by them and other growers that can basically be crowdsourced. So if you're growing cucumbers and you want to propagate, if you're growing other plants and you know you want to flower, uh, you want to focus on the first week of flower, maybe the last two weeks of flower, um, this light is going to have a library that you can choose from. Or of course, you can design your own spectrum from what's available. Now, here's one of the crazier things I learned about this light when we first got it, which I think really sets it apart from other lights on the market. This is a 600 watt light, yes, but it has a thousand watts of LEDs. Now, why would a light have a thousand watts of LEDs? Well, think of it this way. Many LEDs out there right now are tunable, meaning that you can change what the spectrum is. So let's say it has red, white, and blues. So with the red, let's say it represents 200 watts, white 200 watts, blue 200 watts. What you could do is dial the reds down and just have the whites and blues run, maybe in a veg cycle. Then you're running a 400 watt LED basically. What this light does is has more LEDs in it with a 600 watt driver so that let's say end of flower you wanted to run heavy blue to increase like potency on some of your plants. You could do that and instead of dialing your light down 30 to 60 percent, this would still run at 600 watts. Now I do not know of any other fixture that does that and that makes this fixture separated from a lot of those dimmable tunable LEDs that you see out there. Now optional for some of those larger growers who are really looking for consistent yield of their plants almost to like a scientific level, they do have a software called Precision Par that you can get and that software is designed so that this light gives basically the same intensity over whatever interval you tell grow flux you want. Let's say over eight years you don't want the intensity to diminish at all because face it, we all know this, whether you're running HPS, CMH, or LED, lights over time become less intense, even LEDs. So over five years, the LEDs can become less intense. So what the Precision Par software does is drops the intensity just a little bit and then helps overcompensate for that LED diminishment via the software so that between plus or minus 3% you are always going to be getting the same intensity over an eight year span. Now you can dictate how long you want and what Growflux will do is bring the software to your light or send the software to your light to make sure that it controls it properly to uh, basically remain the intensity through that time interval that you have chosen. So aside from this light basically having like some of the craziest features out there in terms of technology, um, it also has some very practical features and I'm gonna pick it up so you can take a look but this light is basically uh, wet location rated, which means they said that you could point a hose at this thing and spray it for 30 minutes and it would be totally fine. You can sanitize the light between um, like growing cycles. So it's very easy to use. I mean, these fans that are included on it to cool the light are um, basically waterproof as well. So you can expect this light to last a long time because it's very industrially designed. It was completely made in the US and it comes with a five year warranty. I've saved probably my favorite feature for last and it's basically this sensor that Growflux is coming out with which will be available shortly and that one uh, basically controls and monitors relative humidity 
temperature, CO2, and BPD. For those of you who don't know what BPD is, vapor pressure deficit, Google it. So in terms of BPD, what this light can do is if your BPD of your garden, and think about it this way, there's basically a software that's paying attention to all these variables and your light is one of them. So it'll pay attention to your light and all those factors that I recommended a second ago, or that I mentioned a second ago. And if it goes out of that optimal VPD range in your environment, it can do things like decrease the light intensity to help bring it back in that optimal range. Like how crazy is that? I'm so excited for lights that can do this because it's just going to make the crop health so much better without you having to fumble around trying to mess around with a lot of these variables yourself. With that, I'd really like to jump into the software to show you guys around this light so that we can see it on the digital side. So here we are at the login page when you get your GrowFlux light. So as soon as you log in, you end up uh, seeing this page. Now, this page here uh, is showing you how many lights you actually have um, hooked up. So we have four lights we are messing around with here. You can see that one is active, the one we're playing with, and the others are disconnected. And it even shows you what wattage they're at and the temperature of each light. <coughs> So um, here's a unique identifier for each light and it's kind of cool. You know, if you have a lot of lights, you're trying to figure out which light is which, you can actually hit this blink light feature and it will send the light to basically do this awesome kind of like, I'm a police officer kind of strobing action that I really like. Um, but uh, let's move on. <laughs> so off to the zones, which is kind of like the next area you might take a look at. We made this first zone uh, with these four lights and it shows the name of it as my first zone. And it'll show you there's four lights. It's running at, you know, how many combined watts, 3,058, and what light formula we've assigned. Now the cool thing is I can click here and change the lighting formula. So right now we have it on vegetative 5,000 Kelvin. If I want, I can change it to, let's say, more of a flowering with a far red 3300 Kelvin. So I hit that, hit save, and it takes about one or two seconds, and it updates it to the light. And you can see it changing now. Um, it's really awesome to be able to change the light to do this, because, you know, I can jump over to, uh, let's see, blue max white. Let's see what that looks like. And you're going to see a lot of different spectral shifts very quickly on this light as we make these changes. Um, these are all built-in spectra that come with the light and you know that said you can also build your own light formula so if I click here in light formulas you'll see all the ones we have here and I can even create one now this is one of the coolest aspects it actually shows you the the nanometer wavelengths here and you can also make a lighting schedule at the same time while you're designing your own spectrum so this is basically where you're also going to be controlling the light, uh, you know, photo period, it's light cycle, when it's on, when it's off. So let's do a light cycle where maybe at, uh, and by the way, this is military time. So if we say 800, that's 8 a.m. And then you choose these four different channels of lighting, which is basically each part of the spectrum that you want and what intensity it is. So I'm gonna put this one at 200 and you can see the graph just forming right in front of you as you start playing with these. So it looks like that's a little bit more in the blues. Now we're jumping into the reds and then I'm guessing that this is gonna be more of like a far red. And there's, yep, exactly that. And there's a little bit less, um, less wattage in the light that's associated with the far red. You see 88 here. And the cool thing is, you know, there's, it shows you power availability, 580 watts. It shows you how many watts you have left to play with. So I could assign those, you know, let's say I want a little bit more blues to go in here. It shows me basically how far I can go up, up to 196. After 197, it won't, you see it won't allow you to go up any higher. So I'll click on that and you get more blues. Now let's say we want that spectrum to go from, you know, maybe 12 hours. So we'll go from eight to, uh, let's see, let me click this in here and we'll have that go to 20. Okay. And then at 20, I'm going to have it go back down to zero. So if we do this, we're going to have a 12 on, 
12 off type schedule. Now that's, you know, really good for flowering. I mean, I'd obviously change the spectrum probably to be a little bit more red dominant, but this is just really showing you what kind of features you have built into this fixture. So other than that, I mean, this is the back end of the platform. It's very robust, very easy to use. I just really wanted to show everyone how it works. And uh, that's part of the Growflux Lite infrastructure that you get, that software infrastructure that makes it really easy to control, you know, potentially thousands of lights just from this web interface or your cell phone. So that's the Growflux LED light in a nutshell. And for you sophisticated growers out there who are looking to really up your game, go to the next level of what's available, um, I think you cannot overlook this light because it's pretty amazing. That's it. Nate with Grower's House. Happy growing.